Hello, Veronica. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine. <laughs> I know. Sorry. Yes. Ya ingresó otra persona, Anita. Oh, yes. Hello, Anita. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, Marito. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Hi. Okay. I have a visitor today. <laughs> Say, say hello to your friend. Hello. <laughs> hey. Hi, Kevin. <laughs> Yo no activo la cámara, teacher, porque tengo al niño aquí. <laughs> bueno, ya somos dos. <laughs> Eso es lo que él de repente viene aquí a, a, a visitarme. Es que lindo. ¿Cuánto tiene? Cuatro años. Ah, ya está grandecito. Sí, hoy vino de visita. Lindo. Y de repente cuando veo que abre la puerta aquí del, 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 del estudio, así como, ¿qué estás haciendo? <risa> Pero solo una hora da usted todas las noches. ¿O Dos. tiene otro grupo? Yeah, I have two groups. Ah. Yeah, but I think he he's very used to that. It's like, eh, he knows that I am here and that I am teaching. So it's, it's very, it's very open to that. Uh, okay. okay, so um, today we're going to continue working on what we were doing yesterday, talking about food, about vegetables. And today we're going to go over a specific topics, right? Like a specific sentences, when you use the, the different types of food, right? So that's what we are basically going to do today while all your friends connect. I decided to connect a little bit earlier today because of the weather. Maybe it's going to rain, so we don't know. Hello, Roberto, welcome. Hello, Gustavo. Hello, teacher. Hello, everybody. Hello. Yo dije, no voy a hacer que les agarre la lluvia mejor. And iniciamos. Okay, so I am going to share my screen so everybody can see it. This was yesterday's class, the food and the drinks, right? We studied many different vocabulary about food. And for sure, we started uh, working on the different questions, like the things that you like, the things that you don't like, the things that you enjoyed, and the things that you don't like that much. Right. And this was the last thing we did yesterday, right? The last thing we did yesterday was uh, talking about countable and uncountable nouns. And what are the differences on each of them, right? For example, here we have um, uh, the countable things are all these things that we can make plural. For example, you say, okay, countable things. Uh, if you say, for example, apples, they can be plural. So they are countable. You can count the apples, right? One apple, two apples, three apples, etc. cetera. And uh, for another countable thing, do you know any other form of countable nouns? What is another example? Uh -huh. Carrots. 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 Uh, no, these ones are all the ones that you can make plural, ¿ok? Esos son todos los que podemos hacer plurales o todos los que podemos contar. Esos uh -huh. son los countable nouns. So you have apples, carrots, what else? What is another thing that you can count? You can say coconuts, right? Yeah. Because you can make it plural. But on the contrary, here we have the uncountables that as the name suggests are the ones that we cannot count. For example, the milk, the milk, the sugar, right? The sugar is another thing that we cannot count, right? The milk, the sugar, okay. The water, we cannot count the water, the rice, 
What is another thing that we cannot count? Oil. The oil, good. What else? What is another thing that we cannot count? Juice. The juice, right, the juice, right, the juice. The coffee. Why we cannot count the coffee? You can count the cups of the cups of coffee that you drink. How many cups of coffee do you drink during the day? Uh -huh. How many cups of coffee do you drink during the day? Four cups. Four cups. Good. Yeah, that is like the like the <laughs> the media right that's the, the the medium number of of uh, different cups of coffee that we take during the day so let's see another thing that we can count what is something else that we can count de todos los que vimos ayer que es otra cosa que si sí podemos contar Huh? Mango. Mangoes, right? You say the mango. It's countable because you can say mangoes, right? You can say mango. The strawberry. Right, the strawberries. Good. The strawberries. Because you can make it plural as well, right? Banana. The bananas. Good. Watermelon. The watermelon, right? Good. What the else? Field. The what? Field. I didn't get it. Can you repeat, please? Pier. Ah, the yeah. pier. Yes, the pier. Thank you very much. The pier. Good. What else? What is another one from all the vocabulary that we got yesterday that we can count? Todos los que compramos por unidad o los podemos hacer plurales son contables. Lollipop. The lollipop, good. Candies. The candy, right? Candies, because you can make it plural. You can buy one candy, two candies, three candies, etc. But the sugar is something that we cannot count. So that's a contrary. Also here, you have the cream. The cream mm -hmm. is something that you cannot count. Cake. 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 Well, cake, it's curious because you can buy a piece of cake, right? You can buy the complete cake. You can buy like seven cakes. So it is kind of countable and uncountable, right? It's like tea. Tea, right? The tea. It's another thing that we cannot count. The pasta, for example. Soda. The soda, right? And we can continue writing more examples here. But the idea of this is that we keep clear that all the things that we can count are countables, right? As the name suggests. And the things that we cannot count are uncountables. Todos los incontables los compramos, ya sea por libra, por caja, por bolsa, eh, or the different measurements that we have. Yeah, a bottle. A box, right? A can. So that's the form of the uncountables. The countables, all the ones that you can make plural. So um, I think this topic is clear. Hello to all the ones that just connected. Hello all, to all my students. Hello, Marlon, Moises, Vanessa, Veronica, that was here since the beginning. Abdiel, hello, good afternoon. Well, good evening. It's all, almost, almost. Good evening. Hello. Yolanda, hello. Good evening. Right, hello, Jose Good Moises. Evening, teacher. Mr. Elmer, hello. Good evening. Sorry that I did not say hello to you. I connected a couple of minutes earlier today, that's why. But we are here. Okay, so here we have a short conversation about food, right? And these people are going to have a picnic, right? They are going to have a picnic. And they say, 
Um, what do you want for the picnic? Hmm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread and we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade and let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Do you like potato salad? Potato salad. Uh -huh. Like the one we make for Christmas that we eat with the chicken. In some cases they put yes, the like. potatoes with beet or potatoes with apples, potatoes with mayonnaise, potatoes with cream, right? You can make all different types of uh, potato salads. So what are they going to prepare for the picnic? Picnic. Uh... In the conversation, what are they going to prepare for the picnic? Different flavor. Ah, but in the conversation, what are they going to eat in the picnic? Sandwiches. Sandwiches, right? Sandwiches. What is one ingredient that they have? Some they have chicken and what is chicken. an ingredient that they don't have cheese they don't bread. have cheese and they don't have bread bread, bread. they don't have anything bread. just chicken oh, bread. Any bread. the most important part of a sandwich they don't have it right the bread <laughs> they don't have bread uh, do they have anything to drink yes they have drinks do they have drinks? No. No, I don't. they don't. It have. says we need some. And what is the drink that they are going to get? It's a question. Lemonade. Lemonade, lemonade right? They are going to eat, they're going to take lemonade. They are going to buy lemonade. And what is the extra thing that they are going to buy for, um, for the picnic? Potato salad. Potato, salad. potato salad. And why? Why are they going to buy potato salad? By every young likes potato salad. Because everyone, because. everyone mm -hmm. likes potato salad. Okay. So I am going to be Adam and all of you are Amanda, okay? Students, what do you want for the picnic? Mm. How about some sandwich? Okay, how about some sandwich? Everybody, I need to listen, everybody practicing. Hey, students, what do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwich? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any Do we have any drinks? No. Oh, no. Need some, need some. Some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's and buy let's some potato salad. potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Okay, now you start and I continue. Go ahead. One, two, and three. Go. What do you want? For what do you want for the picnic? Hi, what do you want for the picnic? Come on. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so everybody, where are your cameras? I cannot see you. I cannot see you. Where are your cameras? Cameras, cameras, cameras. I cannot see Teacher, you. Teacher, my inter internet is very bad. <laughs> okay, okay. I, 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 the camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. Try, try. Don't worry. Okay, where are your cameras? I need to see your cameras. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Que me da pena que no se quede cuando empieza. It's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry, I don't really care how you look today. Okay, my dear students, I need you please to stand up from your chair. 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 Go ahead, arriba, 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 arriba. Now, I need you to stretch up a little bit. I need you to stretch up a little bit. Uh, uh, stretch up a little bit, stretch up. Go ahead, stretch up a little bit. Uh, okay, 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 now. 
I need you to sit down again. Sit down, sit down. Okay. Okay. Ah. Okay, relax a little bit. Relax a little bit. Okay, very good, very good. So now that we are ready, right? That you stretch up. That's good, that's good, very good. Okay, let me see. Someone is watching videos here. <laughs> Who is watching videos? Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, I can listen to someone watching a video. <laughs> okay, good. So now that you stretch up, that you are ready or ready, we are going to do the conversation, okay? Estamos listos? Estamos listos para la conversación? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, are we teacher. ready for the conversation? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Are we ready for the conversation? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, let's see. Because what do you want for the picnic? No, come on. I said like, no, que me les han hecho. ¿Quiénes son y qué hicieron con mis estudiantes? Rain, It's for the raining, they say. Come on. Okay, let's do the conversation. Okay. Hoy sí, ya tengo mis estudiantes de vuelta. Good. One, two, and three. Go ahead. What did you What want did for you the want for picnic? The picnic. The picnic. Mm, how about some sandwiches? Okay. 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 We'll have, have some, some chicken. In the refrigerator. We don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we do have, do we have, have any cheese? No, we need some. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's get some lemonade. Some lemonade. Some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. sure. Everyone, Everyone likes, likes potato, potato salad. salad. Excellent. Excellent. Those are my students for sure. No, like, what do you have the picnic? No, oh, come on. I said like, no. ¿Quiénes son y qué hicieron con mis alumnos? I said. <laughs> okay, so let's continue. Here, what are the food that you like and the food that you don't like. And here we have an, a specific category. We have fruits, vegetables, meats and proteins, daily food, grains, drinks, and desserts. Okay, and here I have an example. I like Peter. apples and mangoes. Yes, Roberto? What's the meaning dairy? Dairy, dairy are all the products that come from milk. Oh, that's right. Cheese, cream, milk, uh, all these, uh, the ones that come from animals, the eggs also, those are daily products. So we have here fruits, vegetables, meat and proteins, daily food, grains, drinks, and desserts. What are the things that you like and what are the things that you don't like? For example, I have here one that says, I like apples and mangoes. I don't like bananas. It's an example. I like the bananas, right? So tell me one example. Choose one category. Choose one category, and you are going to give me your example. I need you to write the example in your notebook, and then you are going to read it for me. Follow the same pattern that we have here, okay? Follow the same pattern that we have there. You can choose about the vegetables or about the daily products, about the drinks or about the desserts. Desserts are postres. Desserts. Okay, so choose one category and give me your example. You can raise your hand or you can open your microphone. Vegetable. Okay, vegetables, go ahead. I like the carrots. Um, let me see. How do you say ejotes? Peas. I like. Or green uh, beans. No, those are green beans. I like carrots and green beans. Uh -huh. I don't like whiskey. <laughs> Okay, you don't like whiskey, right? I think whiskey is the same, right? You don't change it. I don't like whiskey. Good. So that is one example of the vegetables. You can give me another example for vegetables or you can give me another example for a different category. Thank you very much, Roberto, for your example. Who wants to give me the next example? 
Only one, only one. Okay, don't fight. Sí. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I like meat and I don't like beans. I like meat and you don't like beans. Really? Is it true? No, or is it just an example? <laughs> For example. Ah, okay, it's an example. And I say like, where are you from? I mean, every Salvadorian likes beans. Okay, I like meat, I don't like beans. That is for meat and protein. Any other example of mm -hmm. any other category? Yo, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Drinks. For drinks, I go like, ahead. Uh, I like soda, but uh -huh. I don't like milk. I like soda, but I, I don't like milk. Milk. Okay. I don't like milk. And is it true or it's just an example? Uh, example. It's an example. Okay. <laughs> Give me another example for another category or one of the categories that we already mentioned. Uh huh. Comenzamos democráticamente. Me, teacher. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. I like. Um, five grains. I like rice okay. and corn. I don't like cashew nuts. I do not like which one? Cash, cash nuts. Okay. So. If I am not mistaken, is cashew nuts? Yes? Yes. Okay, you don't like cashew nuts, really? For example. Ah, yeah, it's an example, right? A quien no le gustan las semillas de marañón, I was going to say. Do you, uh, is there here a person that doesn't like the cashew nuts? ¿A alguien aquí no le gustan las semillas de marañón? No. All of you agree with us. Good. Another example. Me. Go ahead. Um, I like hard cheese. Uh -huh. I don't like cream. Is it an example or is it true? For example. Nah, okay. I don't like cream. I like. You like cream? There is. Okay. Hard cheese. Queso duro. Okay. And what is the example for the desserts? Who can help me with this one? Go ahead. Uh -huh. I like ice cream. I and like eggs. Okay, I like give me just one second here. Mm -hmm. I like ice, ice cream. cream and cakes. Uh, cakes. I don't like cupcakes. Really? Yes. Okay. Okay, I do not like cupcakes. There you go. So those are very good examples of all the different categories. Let me see. Jenny Romero, what was the example that you had? <laughs> Hello, teacher. Um, about drink. Uh -huh. I like drink. Uh, I sorry. I like drink wine. Uh -huh. I like wine. In this case, I like wine and orange juice. Uh huh. And I don't like soda. Okay, I oh. like wine and orange juice, but I don't like soda. Good. Let me see. And Gustavo was like, "What?" <laughs> and it's true that you don't like soda, Jenny, or it's just the example. It's it's true. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, the face, it, it's, it's good there. Let me see. We're going to ask Yolanda. Give me your example. Miss Yolanda. Uh, okay. Um, oh, vegetables. Okay. Uh -huh. I like tomato. I don't like garlic. I like tomato, I don't like garlic. Good, very good. Yeah. Veronica, give me your example. 
I like uh, strawberry. Mm -hmm. I don't know kiwi. I don't like kiwis. Uh, I don't na, na, like kiwi. Okay, it's a strawberry, right? <laughs> Gustavo is reacting to all the things. It's like, no, come on, the kiwi. <laughs> good, very good. And the last example is going to be from, let me see, Kelly Maritza. Go ahead. Okay, I like coconut and mangoes. Mm -hmm. I don't know, like bananas. You don't like bananas, for sure, for real. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> He's crying. Gustavo is crying. Okay. He's suffering with your examples. And Abdiel, where are you? Abdiel was suffering yesterday with the examples. What is your example, Abdiel? Uh, drinks. Drinks. Uh huh. I like wine and craft beer. I do not soda. I do not like. I do I not don't like, like soda. soda. Good, very good, excellent job. Thank you very much, my dear students, for your fantastic examples, right? This is a good form for you to create affirmative sentences and negative sentences with food, right? This is the form that we use to create affirmative and negative sentences about food. Now, my question is, do you think they are good for you, bad for you, or excellent for you or perfect for you depending on what you think i am going to give you uh, the sentence for example here we have a strawberries a strawberries are good for you okay i always move it. A strawberries are good for you what about cake do you think cake is good for you cake is bad for you cake is excellent for you or cake is perfect for you Cake. A little bit bad. <laughs> Perfect. A bad. little bit bad. <laughs> if you eat the complete cake, right? Okay, cake. Did you say that it's... Who says it's perfect? Cake. But cake are... No. Uh-huh. Cake are bad for you. Okay, cake is singular or plural? Um, singular. 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 So you say cake is, is. perfect for you. For you. <laughs> A bad. Okay. <laughs> lettuce. What about lettuce? It's good for you. Is good. Lettuce is good for you. Yeah. Okay. It's good. Uh -huh. Y si me la estoy comiendo y se me va un pedazo de lechuga and I die. <laughs> so you see, <laughs> no, lettuce is good for you. Lettuce is good for you. What about fish? Yes. It's bad. <laughs> Why? <laughs> fish is bad for you. It's excellent. It's excellent. excellent. Okay, you like fish. That's good. If you don't like fish, you are going to tell me, no, oh, teacher, fish is horrible. I like fish. I don't like tuna. Oh, you know, yeah, I, well, I don't like tuna, but depending on how do you prepare it, the only in salad. It's perfect. Fish is perfect, only in salad. The tuna in salad, it's good. What about potato chips? The ones that you buy in a bag and you can eat one by are one. Excellent. <laughs> are excellent. Potato chips are excellent for you. Uh -huh. And the cake mm -hmm. is bad. Uh -huh. Doble moral, come on. <laughs> Potato chips are good, bad, excellent, or perfect for you? For excellent, for you. excellent. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. In your house, even if you don't want to make noise and then you start like opening a bag of potato chips, you're yes. like, and then people are like, what are you eating? What are you eating? Give me, give me. <laughs> No, it's impossible. I'm saying nothing. Yes. <laughs> eggs. What about eggs? Eggs are good, bad, excellent, or perfect for you? I'm good. 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 Eggs are good for you. What about pizza? Mm. 
It's ah, perfect for us. It's perfect. You say perfect. If you don't like pizza, then you're going to tell me bad. What about beans? Uh, are excellent. excellent. Yes, beans are excellent for every Salvadorian, right? Yogurt? Very bad. <laughs> Very bad. You think? Perfect. But, no but, check, you are going to say. Yogurt? No, no yogurt is excellent yeah. for you. Yeah. It's perfect. What about cookies? Bad for us. Uh, they are bad for you, you say. Bad. They are, well, depending on the cookies, right? Depending on the type of cookies. And broccoli? It's bad for us. <laughs> Why, Gustavo? Good. You don't like broccoli? Not even with lemon and salt? No. Like, yeah, my little kid says that he doesn't like broccoli because he doesn't eat trees. And he tells me, no, that's a tree. I don't eat <laughs> trees. <laughs> so he doesn't like For broccoli. Yeah, you see, thin green, definitely. <laughs> okay, good, very good. So as I was explaining you in the previous example, here we have some any count and non-count nouns. Any is for questions and negatives. Some is for affirmative sentences, okay? You use any with questions and negatives and you use some with affirmative sentences, okay? Is it clear? When do you, oh, use, no. when do you use any? Negative sentence. And negative. Negative. Questions and negatives. Some? Or affirmative. For affirmatives. Okay, let's check. Here we have some examples. Okay, here we have some examples. And it says, do we need any eggs? Right? And we are asking, ¿Necesitamos algunos huevos para la receta? Right? Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some. If you say, let's get some, you don't need to repeat the word eggs, mm -hmm. right? You say, yes, let's get some. Si, ¿Sí? compremos algunos. And you can say, yes, let's get some eggs, but it's not really necessary. And if you say, no, we don't need any. No, no necesitamos ninguno. And you can say, no, we don't need any eggs. The next one says, do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some. Or no, we need, we don't need any. And you can say some bread or any bread, okay? To be a specific, you say, I am eating an egg. Only one, very specific. Let's get some bread, right? Compramos algo de pan. And in general, if you want to talk about food, you say eggs are good for you, bread is good for you, exactly like in the exercise that we just did, right? Cake is good for you, broccoli is not good for you, it's perfect, right? These are examples of the sentences that we did in the previous exercise. Countables and non-countables are the ones that we studied at the beginning of the class. Countables, you can count them and you can make them plural, right? You can say a sandwich or you can say sandwiches. These are countable nouns. And non-countable are the ones that you cannot count. Like lemonade, you cannot tell me, no, mom, only two lemonades in the glass, please. Okay. <laughs> no, right. You cannot count the lemonade. You can get a glass of lemonade, a pitcher of lemonade, right? But you cannot actually counted. So here I have some examples for this explanation. Do you have any question about this? Sure. Yes. In oh, the microphone, honey. Teacher. Go ahead. In, in this example, when you question, is necessary the any word? Well, in some cases, you say like, 
you can say, do we need eggs? And the question will be correct, right? But if you want to be specific, right? Necesitamos algunos? Necesitamos comprar algo de esto? So you use any for you to be a little bit more specific. But if you tell me, do we need bananas for the milkshake? And I say, yes, we do. Let's get some bananas because we don't have any. So, porque no tenemos nada, ninguna. So if I want to be specific about that, you can use it, but it's not really necessary in the question, right? But in this case, we use any for you to be specific, right? Like when your mother asks you, ¿De veras no necesitas ninguna cartulina para mañana? It's like, no, no anything, really. And in the morning, mom, the paper, ah, oh, come on, you see. So to be specific, right? The ninguna, no necesitas nada más. When you are cooking, right? That's very common. Y además cuando el esposo cocina. Seguro? Are you sure? It's like, no, anything. Do we have onions? Do we have garlic? Do we have seasoning? Ah, come on. So. These any... questions are for the mom. <laughs> yes, for the mothers. Yeah, do you need anything else? <laughs> good. <laughs> That's a very good definition. Questions for mothers. Do you need anything from the store? No. And when you come back, ¿qué me trajiste? Nothing, because you didn't ask for anything, right? Any, you say. So let's analyze these sentences that I have here. And in the sentences that I am presenting, first, we are going to analyze if they are affirmatives, negatives, or questions, okay? So if it is affirmative, if it is negative, or if it is a, a question, I'm going to make it the question, okay? There you go. We're going to say that if it is affirmative, if it is negative, or if it is a question. The first example, is it affirmative, negative, or question? Yeah. It is negative. Mm, negative. Well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make what some. do you think we need here? Um, we need to use some, okay? Because the first sentence says, the store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make some. Okay, do we, what is this one? Is it affirmative, any. negative, or any. question? It's a question, right? It's a question. Where so we need to use any, any, right? Do we have any mayonnaise? No, we need to buy some, some, right? We need to buy some, and this one will be affirmative, negative, or question. This is affirmative, affirmative right? We need onions too. Some, some. So this one is also affirmative, right? This is also affirmative. Mm, I don't want onions. I hate onions. Onions. Okay. Any. It's like, ew, I don't want any onions. So this one is going to be a negative form, right? I don't want any onions. I hate onions. Then let's get Some. Some. Some, right? Because this one is it's affirmative, right? It's affirmative. No, I don't want any. Any. Any, right? right? I don't want any celery in my potato salad. So this one is a negative. But let's put some. 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 Um. Let's put apples some, in some apples in it. So in this case, this is an affirmative. Apples in potato salad. That sounds awful, you say. Do you like apples in potato salad? Yes. yes. Green apples. I like green, green apples. Apple. So it says, the store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make some. Tenemos un montón de papas. Let's make some. Okay. Do we have any mayonnaise? No. We need to buy 
some. Okay, and we need some onions too. Oh, I don't want any onions. I hate onions. Then let's get some celery. No, I don't want any celery in my potato salad, but let's put some apples in it. Apples in potato salad. That sounds awful. What is the meaning of awful? In, como en serio, no? Mm, not really. What is the meaning of awful? That sounds awful. You. Ugly. Ugly, Asquerido. horrible, asqueroso, right? It's like, uh -uh. I don't like it. That sounds awful. Suena horrible, eso suena horrendo, right? That's the meaning of this. Do you know the meaning of all the words in the, in the conversation? ¿Nos queda alguna duda en vocabulario en la conversación? No? Is it clear? Clear like horchata? <laughs> okay, good, very good. So, let me see. We're going to have Jenny and Gustavo. Go ahead. Go ahead. Jenny is Amanda and Gustavo is Adam. Action. Store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make some. Okay. Do we have any mayonnaise? No, we need to buy some. We need some onions too. Oh, I don't want any onions. I hate onions. Then let's get some celery. No, I don't want any celery in my potato salad, but let's put some apples in it. Apple, simple, potato, salad. That's an awful. Excellent. Very good job, my dear students. Excellent job. So in these cases, we need to analyze carefully. Thank you very much. 100% for you. We need to analyze if we are talking about a question, if we are talking about a negative, or if we are talking about an affirmative sentence for you to know what type of complement are you going to use at the moment of completing information. Here, in this case, we are going to work all together. For a chicken sandwich, you need some bread, chicken, lettuce, and mayonnaise. And you don't need any cheese. What do you need for a cheeseburger? Cool. You need cheese. Bread, cheese. Bread, 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 you need pickles. Pickles are pepinillos. Pepinillos. Do you need any bacon for the potato salad? For the cheeseburger, sorry. Do you need bacon for yes. the cheeseburger? Yes. Bacon, yes. no. <laughs> yes, like, yes. no? Whoosh. I don't do you, know. Do you need Onion. onions? Onion. Onions. Do you need uh, mayonnaise? Yes. 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 Do you need ketchup? ketchup? Yes. Do you yes. need mustard? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Do you need uh, green peppers? I don't know. Yes. Like, mm, <laughs> no. Uh, do you need tomatoes? Yes. 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 Do you need watermelons? No. 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 And no. what are you going no. to drink? You, you need to make some juice. <laughs> yeah, baby, you need the watermelon to make the juice for you to accompany the hamburger. Uh, Let's see. No. Soda. Soda. <laughs> and what is the best friend of a cheeseburger? I need mushrooms. Mushrooms. Oh. What an elegant thing. 
mushrooms. And we need French, French, French fries. fries. We need French fries. Good. French fries. For this one, we are going to prepare the dish on the chat. Let's prepare a vegetable salad on the chat. I am going to be the first one here. We need lettuce. What else? Vamos, al chat, todos. What do you need? We're going to prepare a vegetable salad. Con todo lo que pongan en el chat va a quedar la ensalada. Carrots, carrots, okay. <laughs> Apple. Okay, send me there. What do you want on the chat? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Hey, lemon, good, celery. Okay. Lettuce, good, very good. Hey, I send you only for, okay, good, 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 good. Lemon, lettuce, onions, cucumbers, apples. A lot of cucumber, my God. That is going to be pepino salad. <laughs> Croutons, very good. Quinoa, excellent. What else, what else? I like that Jenny put apples on it. That's cool. Onions. A lot of lemon and cucumber. Tomato. Eggs. In a, in a vegetable salad? Jairo, do you put eggs in a vegetable salad? Yes. Hard eggs. Duros. Huevos duros. Cheese. Yeah. Yes. Hey, that's cool. That's very nice. Lettuce, tomato, carrot, radishes, <laughs> onion, lemon, and vinegar. Ranch dressing. Good. Onion. More onion and more spinach. Wow, this is going to be a very delicious fruit salad. Okay. Now, let's prepare. Let's prepare a chicken for the vegetable salad. Cool. Let's prepare a chicken soup. A chicken soup, for sure, you need the chicken. Okay, for the chicken soup, you need chicken. What else do you need for a chicken soup? <laughs> Potato. Gustavo, you are so creative, my God. Send me the potato there. That's so nice. Let's see, let's see. Hey, we have, yeah, we have the vegetables there. There you have. There you have a carrot for everybody. What else are we going to put? Potatoes, good. We skill, good. <laughs> Chicken is friend. <laughs> okay, Abdiel is not going to drink the chicken soup. <laughs> soap. No, you need soup. Soap is jabón. <laughs> so, soup, right? That's the one that I sent you there. It's soup. Cool. Garlic. Garlic and chicken. Good. Very good. Soup. Uh, chicken with skill, carrot, potatoes, green apple for the chicken salad. For the chicken. Chicken soup. Sorry. <laughs> the chicken salad. The chicken soup. Do you need green apple for a chicken soup? Really? Okay, squash, very good. Only chicken. <laughs> okay, and lemon, for sure. When the soup is ready, you put some lemon. And now, open your microphones, open your microphones, and we are going to prepare a fruit salad. I will put watermelon on it. Potato, number. <laughs> Apple. <laughs> Banana. Banana. Bananas. Papaya. Papaya. Rice. Strawberry. In a fruit salad. Wait, 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 wait. Rice in a fruit salad? Pineapple. Oh, pineapple, pineapple. Uh -huh. What Honey? else? Honey. Honey, yeah. What else? Only watermelon, pineapple, papaya? Should we put papaya in the fruit salad? Honey. Yeah. Mango. Mom beans, mango. Yes. Let's put some mango in it. That would be very oh, delicious. Cortes. Yeah, mom beans. Let's put some mom beans. Excellent. How do you say alhuaste? Well, alhuaste is alhuaste heating alhuaste. in China. Ah. Because at Sirisa Salvadorian word, 
It doesn't change. Maybe in China it's going to be alwaiti, but it's the same thing. It's the same thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. The pupusas are the pupusas here and in Korea, right? There in I don't know in France it's like the pupusé, but it's the same thing. Excellent. So that was going to be a very delicious fruit salad. Here we have different types of breakfast in different countries. Which one is the, the one that it's a little bit more similar to the Salvadorian breakfast? Here we have the Mexico. United States, Japan, Mexico. 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 Right. In the United States, you have eggs, bacon, toasts with butter, orange juice, coffee, jam, and jelly. No. Right? In Japan, fish, rice, yeah. soup, pickles, and green tea. That's for breakfast. And in Mexico, yeah. look at Mexico. Eggs, beans, tortillas, fruits with bread, and coffee with milk. I think that's a very Salvadorian thing. Here in El Salvador, it's not very common that people have fruit. I tamales. think that's, that's the only thing. Uh, tamales, right? Tamales. It's Salvador pupusas. Pupusas, for sure. Pupusas will be the Salvadorian dish here. Atol chupo. Well, here in El Salvador, you can have breakfast with everything. With coffee, with bread, with beans. Nuegados for breakfast. Chocolate. Chocolate, no, right? Empanadas. Chocolate. Empanadas. Yeah. Bananas, right? Banana pastries. Banana mm -hmm. pastries are the empanadas. Banana yes. pastries. They are good. They are very good. Do you like beans or milk? Milk. Here we can have a fight. Beans or milk? <laughs> Las empanadas de que le gustan? Yeah. Beans or milk? Beans. 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 You combine them. <laughs> For you not to fight, right? You combine them. I like them. And, and I like them with the sugar. Okay. They are very good. Oh, and we also have pancakes sometimes here in El Salvador. So here you have one for the, uh, for the one that we were reading there. And it says, let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Would you like to have fish for breakfast? No. Oh, you. You uh, awful. You say awful. What is the most like like the strangest thing that you have eaten that you, that you have had for breakfast that you have ate for breakfast? What is the strangest thing that you have? Uh, well, in this case, that you have eaten for breakfast. Uh -huh, Jenny, your microphone. Sorry, teacher. That was the question. What is the strangest thing that you have eaten for breakfast? For me, eat uh, bacon, for example. I think that in, in the... Um, in Europa, in Europa, maybe, or in a, in United States, uh, people uh, is usually uh, uh, take a breakfast with uh, bacon. But here in El Salvador, no. no. Well, pupusas. <laughs> uh -huh. Someone else? Alguien que haya comido algo extraño para un desayuno? They would be like, okay, I am going to eat it anyway. Um, no sé cómo se dice, pero yuca. Ah, yuca. Yuca is the same. Yuca. Yuca for breakfast. 
Sí, okay. yes, in <laughs> Panama. Oh, in Panama. Well, mm -hmm. in Guatemala, they gave me meat, meat and tortilla for breakfast. So it was like a piece of grilled meat, like, okay, pedazo de carne asada, and I was like, is this for breakfast? And they said like, yeah, that's part of the breakfast. And we're like, okay. <laughs> anyway, I like it, but yeah. But imagine if I offer you fish for breakfast. They're like, no, thank you. Please give me cereal. <laughs> give me any type of cereal, but no fish. But let's see, students. Let's have let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come okay, to my house. Come to my house. My, my family, family always family. has a Japanese style okay. breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually we have usually fish, have fish, fish, rice, rice, and soap. Fish, and soup. rice, and soap. Soap. Soap is the one that we drink in the morning, right? Rice soup, soup is the one that you drink. Fish for breakfast. That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad. We always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Let's go and eat breakfast together. Okay, I need one volunteer. Hands up. One volunteer. Me. No para nada malo. Okay, Jenny. Um, you are going to tell me about a Salvadorian style breakfast, okay? You're going to change the conversation. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, we come to my house. My family always has a... Um, Salvadorian coffee. style? No, Salvadorian style. A, a Salvadorian style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have... Um, um, what is a Salvadorian style breakfast? Help her. Yeah. Beans, 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 uh -huh. eggs, eggs, beans, cream, milk, milk beans, cheese, cheese, coffee, coffee. Banana. chocolate, banana, fried bananas. Okay. Yes. Mm, fried bananas for breakfast. Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry teacher. I have a question. Well, go ahead. Uh, banana, uh, frit banana, it's, it's. Platano um, frito. Uh-huh. Yes. You, you can say it's fried plantains, but it's not very common. People normally say fried bananas. Okay. And they okay. are platanos. Fried bananas for breakfast. That's interesting. Sometimes we have a. Uh, too. <laughs> uh -huh. And we always and have. We always have um, milk, milk, or coffee. Okay, milk or coffee. Well, or I, I never eat pupusas for breakfast, but I like to try new things. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Hey, people, claps for Jenny because she survived. Thank you for your help. Very good. Let's see, Miss. I need another volunteer. I'm going to leave it open. Another volunteer. Volunteers, volunteers, only one, two, three, four. Volunteers at one, volunteers at two, volunteers mm -hmm. at three. Okay, Vanessa. Ah, ya iba a escogerlo dedocráticamente. Vanessa, we are going to have a Mexican style breakfast, okay? Mexican style. Do you remember the different styles? Right? Mexican style. Okay? Ready. Let's go. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My my, my family always has sal uh, Mexican style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? You, we usually have beans peppers, eggs, and cream. Oh, eh, peppers for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have um, cereal, too. 
Uh -huh. And we always and have. We always, and we always have chocolate and coffee. Well, I never eat peppers for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Very good. Excellent. Very nice, Vanessa. Very good job. And I need one final volunteer. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Jairo, thank you very much. Jairo, we are going to have the American style. Okay? Okay. Perfect. American style. Take a look. And here we go. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. To my house, my family uh, always uh, has um, an, American. Uh, an American style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? Um, we usually uh, have um, eggs. Mm, okay, bacon. Mm -hmm. yeah. And toast with butter. Oh, uh, toast with butter for breakfast. That's interesting. Sometimes uh, we have a um, check the picture. <laughs> uh, jam jelly. Jam and jam uh, or jam, jelly. Jam. Uh, okay, I never eat jam for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Very good job, thank you, Jairo. Thank you for being volunteer. Thank you very much. So here on the conversation of. Oh, on the conversation, we were using adverbs of frequency. What are the adverbs of frequency? Are the ones that you use to express how frequently you do something. When you say, I always eat pupusas. I usually eat pupusas. I often eat pupusas. I sometimes eat pupusas. I hardly ever eat pupusas or I never eat pupusas. So you come from always, that is 100, to never, that is zero. You put the subject, the adverb of frequency, the verb, and the complement, right? That is the form that you use, the adverbs of frequency. Sometimes is the only one that we can put at the beginning. Sometimes is the only adverb of frequency that we can use at the beginning. Okay, so you can tell me, teacher, I always eat beans. I usually eat cereal. I often eat pupusas. I sometimes eat fruit. I hardly ever eat uh, what? Pancakes. And I never eat fish for breakfast. So these are adverbs of frequency that we were using here in the conversation for you to make the practice, okay? We made the practice in the contrary way in this case. So these are the adverbs of frequency. And the questions that we were using in the conversation were, do you ever have fish for breakfast? Alguna vez? Do you ever have fish for breakfast? Yes, I always, sometimes, or I never. If I ask you, do you ever eat pupusas for breakfast? Yes, I always, always. I always, I always right? I, I usually, I sometimes. And this is the parameter, right? 100 for always, zero for never. And then you have usually that it's like 80, often 75, sometimes 50, hardly ever 25% and never zero. Okay, so my dear students, we're going to stop here. I am going to send you an exercise on the chat for you to complete it on the weekend and we're going to use it in the next class, okay? So it was a pleasure for me to serve you once again and I am going to see you on Monday for another class, okay? Bye teachers. Have a beautiful night.
Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. Take care. Bye, teacher. Bye. Thank bye you. Bye. Thank you. Bye, bye.